Hey everyone, this is Adriana with Blue Clover Rabbitry. I wanted to teach you guys today how to properly pick up and hold your rabbits. It's probably the number one question I get from people. A lot of people see me holding my rabbits on Instagram and I get messages all the time with people asking, how are you holding them so calmly and they don't jump out of your arms? Um, I've done this for a long time and I have a lot of advice to give you, so make sure you watch the whole video. Because um, we're going to go through socialized rabbits. Um, maybe you got your rabbit from the shelter, or maybe you rescued it from somebody that just wasn't spending much time with them. So we're going to go through some different scenarios. Right now, we have River's little baby here. This is my keeper, Doe. She's about six weeks old now, so she's going to be my little model today. So the most important thing is getting your rabbit social with you. If you have a rabbit that's really skittish, I don't recommend just going right in and scooping them up. Um, they could have had trauma in their past if you don't know their past, or if they weren't held or socialized a lot when they were a baby, it could be pretty traumatic for them. So let's start off with, say you got one of our babies from Blue Clover Rabbitry. We do bunny therapy sessions with all of our babies, so they're pretty social. Um, you have to remain dominant in a relationship with your rabbit. Where a lot of people go wrong is they slowly try to scoop them up and their bunny starts to hop away and they think, oh, my rabbit doesn't want to be held. Well, that's not necessarily true. What you're showing them by letting them hop away is that they're the dominant one and it's going to be much harder down the road. So if it's not mean and they're not scared, but what you want to do is make this a quick process. Um, so the best thing I can show you is put one hand under the front, one hand under the bum, and scoop them up quickly with their feet towards your body. So for instance, don't scoop like this and scoop them away from your body like this where their feet are pointing out. Um, if you don't have a good grip on them and, and their feet are dangling out this way, it can cause them to kick, which will make you nervous and things can go wrong. So again, you scoop under, under the front feet, under the bum, and see how my hand is positioned to where her back is very supported. And then you wanna scoop them into your chest like this. This is just basic beginner. If you haven't done this before, you need to practice. And once you have them securely against your body with all fours, so they feel more secure than their feet facing outward, you just kind of want to give them a little squeeze. And that's a dominance thing. That's showing them you are the boss. But if they're trying to jump out of your arms, you just reposition a little bit and just give them a little snug. And then the next best thing is to just push your finger on their forehead between their eyes to help them calm down and run your fingers down their back. So just one long pet from in between their eyes all the way down their body and pretty firmly too. Obviously not super aggressive, but you want to firmly pet them to calm them down. Once you feel confident and comfortable doing this, you can also hand feed them. That's a huge part of bonding to get them to trust you. Um, get a little bit of mint, cilantro, parsley. There's some little hay loop treats that I really, really like. I'll link them down below. The next thing I want to talk about is if you're having difficulty or if you're really nervous picking them up with your hands because maybe you don't want to get scratched, these are really awesome blankets. We use them in our bunny therapy program. Grab a blanket in both hands like this. Scoop one hand under the front, one hand under the bum. And they're much more secure in a blanket this way. And it feels more secure for you as well. And you can also kind of wrap them in what we call a bum reach out. And then again, make them flat. Put them on their head to get them comfortable. If you get a bunny from a shelter that maybe was abused or neglected, has never been handled, it might be a lot harder for you to bond with them that way. And the best thing that you can do lay on their floor in their enclosure so before you even want to pick up a bunny that's skittish that actually may never want to be picked up lay on the floor put some treats some vegetables in your hand let them come up to you you have to build trust with them first and then over time you're welcome to try this method i would highly recommend the blanket especially for a skittish rabbit scooping under the arms under the bum and scoop them into you um, if they keep kicking and they do not want to be picked up don't do it. It can really stress them out and cause them to break any kind of bond that you've already started making with them by the hand feeding and laying on the floor. 
I brought Smush out to show you a full-size bunny. I know a lot of you have questions about your full-size grown bunnies. When you have an eight-week-old bunny you bring home, they're usually not hormonal yet, and it's a lot easier to handle them. There's several people that bring home their bunnies, and maybe a month or two goes by, and they're like, hey, my bunny doesn't really want to be held anymore. It's not necessarily that they don't want to be held. They're just at a point where they're hormonal, they're ready to reproduce, um, and they may not really want to be sitting still for very long. So when you have an older bunny and you're trying to handle them, it's gonna be the same way, one hand under the front, one hand under the bum, and scoop their paws into you. Give them a little squeeze, and pet their head. All in all, you just really wanna spend as much time as you can with your bunnies, help them to get used to you, create maybe a schedule with them during the daytime where they're outside of their pen socializing with you, you really don't want to keep them in their pen all day. You're not gonna have a very social bunny. So whatever you put into it is what you're gonna get out of it.